Hello, good evening. He stepped onto the balcony of Merthyr Tydfil's old town hall to the cheers of hundreds and hundreds of supporters who gathered in the square below, their sea of red flags waving in the breeze. Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader, was in town to launch the Welsh leg of his campaign to keep his job. His key pledge that no community would ever be left behind under his leadership. Our reporter, Kemlin Davis, was there. This is how Jeremy Corbyn made his appearance in Merthyr today, to the delight of the hundreds of followers who'd gathered to see him on Penderyn Square. Jeremy Corbyn and his team have chosen this location deliberately for today's event. Red House there is where the party's first leader, Keir Hardy, would address his constituents when he was the local MP here at the start of the 20th century. And Penderyn Square was also the scene of the Merthyr Rising in 1831, when the red flag, a symbol of the working class cause, is said to have been flown for the first time. But today was about the current fight within Labour, and before he addressed his supporters, I asked Jeremy Corbyn what his message is for the party members who will decide whether he stays or goes. Labour is going to be a party of investment, of a growing economy, and leaving no community behind. We need investment across the whole of the UK, including many parts of Wales that have suffered grievously ever since the end of the mining industry. Owen Smith says you're actually going backwards here if you look at some of the Assembly election results. The Assembly election results, we gained some seats as well as losing one. We made a lot of progress there. And I tell you this, Labour Party membership hasn't grown for, without a reason. People are coming into Labour because they see something of themselves in the party. They see the possibility of a party speaking for them and their community. And that's exactly what we're doing here today in Mercer. Yes, more people have joined Labour under Jeremy Corbyn. But despite his claims, the party failed to win any new Assembly seats in May. However, these supporters are confident he can lead the party to success. Since the Blair thing, I haven't touched it. Politics, it's just been one Tory thing after another. And now there's a man that we can all get together behind. But can he win an election? Yes, yes. yes. You don't get the sound bites, you don't get the hypocrisy, you just get what the man is. But this is a leadership contest, as we saw in last night's first head-to-head -head debate. Owen Smith says only he can get Labour back into power. I think I'm the person who's got the ideas in this debate. I think I'm the person who's got the energy in this debate. And I think I see very clearly that we've not been what we need to be in recent months. Back to Merthyr and away from the Corbyn crowd, I spoke to a Smith supporter. The Labour Party is currently not in a state to win a general election and needs to be. Owen Smith is charismatic, he's got a good track record from being in the shadow cabinet and, and he's a personable candidate and will take us forward. We'll keep the red flag flying here. In a blow to Mr Corbyn's campaign this evening, the main union at the Port Albert Steelworks community said it's supporting Owen Smith. However, other major unions are expected to back the current leader. He and his supporters intend on keeping their flag flying.